All right, folks, we are here. <clears throat> we have our fertilizer. This is really good for a starter lawn, and it's good for overseeding. Um, this just tells you what's in it. Nitrogen, you want high nitrogen, definitely, and phosphate. And then, I'm not sure what soluble potash is. <laughs> but anyway, I know you want high nitrogen and high phosphate. Um, it really helps the grass get going. Then we got a 50 pound bag of Kentucky 31. Then we got our hay. And then we got my baby right here. There's only one in front of you, sweetie. That's my wife. <laughs> and then... <laughs> um, have more hay and then we got our aerator down there on the bottom um i wish i had a plugger but i don't so we're gonna wet the lawn a little bit and kind of loosen it up it's been dry for like i don't even know how long two weeks or something but um <coughs> excuse me that was really rude um sorry about that guys anyway this is the lawn we're doing um this side isn't so bad this side's there's a lot of dirt so we're going to wet this down um, and get the aerator and start aerating. And then, uh, like I said, there's a lot. I mean, this is this is really bare right here. I don't think I'm going to put hay on this, though. I might put it right through here because it's, like I said, really bare through here. But <clears throat> I think we'll be all right. And then let's roll on to the backyard. Backyard's pretty pretty good shape. This area is like what I want to concentrate on most because I want to get this looking good. Um, when I started this yard this year, it was pretty much like that. It was a little the dry the dryness that we've had the last few week, few weeks has really really um, killed some of the grass. I mean, burned it out. And it's just been so hot for September. Oh my gosh! In this area, I'm gonna put hay for sure. You can see where they tried planting it before, and I'm not sure what happened. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it takes, sometimes it doesn't, and um, <clears throat> but we're gonna plant that pretty, pretty heavy. You don't want to put too much grass on it because they'll fight each, like the seeds will fight each other, trying to get. Um, this is we're gonna have to get some of these brick chips out of here. But yeah, the seeds will cancel each other out, kind of. That's one thing I learned. I was watching this thing, I, this guy I watched called uh, Dirt Monkey. What's his name? Stanley the Dirt Monkey. And he is, uh, he has a landscaping business, a hardscaping business, and demolition business. So he knows what he's doing. Um, but anyway, so we are going to hit this area pretty good. The rest of this we're just going to, you know, basically overseed. Um, I mean, it's a pretty big backyard. This goes downhill. I'm hoping I can ride that aerator on the side of this hill. I know I can't over there. I'm just going to have to... We're just going to have to throw seed there, basically. But I want to blow these leaves off of here. I'm going to do that first. Get all the everything cleaned off. You don't want a bunch of leaves because it'll catch the grass seed. So you got to make sure the leaves are gone. Like, gone. I mean, you know, one or two like that ain't going to hurt nothing, but... So this is what we are doing today. Um, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get started. That's what we're gonna do. So y'all have a good one, and I'll check back with y'all a little bit after I'm done doing everything we need to do. I'll show you the end product. Alrighty, bye bye.